Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition. In this tutorial we will learn how to add two three-digit numbers with carrying and this time we're going to do this in the horizontal format. Okay so let's have a look at our first example. We've got 345 plus 400 and 28. 345 plus 428. It looks a bit tricky, doesn't it? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to start by first adding the hundreds. Which ones are the hundreds? It's 3 over here, 300 plus 400. Up until now we've added the units first this is slightly different. 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is 7 and that is 700. Okay, we're adding the hundreds. Now we're going to add, let me just change colors, we're going to add the tens. We got four tens on the left, adding the two tens on the right. 4 plus 2 is 6. So that is 60. Don't forget, there's tens, okay, we're adding tens. 4 plus 2 is 6, and don't forget the 0, 60. And lastly, we're going to add the units. That's 5 and 8. So 5 plus 8 is 13. So now we can add the 13. Okay, and we're going to put an equal sign here. And now we simply add them in the columns there are. So we've got 700, 6 plus 1 is 7, I'm talking about this 6 plus 1, and 0 plus 3 is 3. The answer is 773. Now we did that without really doing vertical addition, long addition. We did a little bit over here, but effectively you could say that we didn't. The reason why I wrote all these down over here, I'm talking about this part over here is just to explain what we were doing. After a period of time, with a bit of practice, you won't need to write any of this down. Okay? You won't need to write any of that down. You'll be able to do this in your head. But that takes practice. And so let's move on to another practice question, another example. This time we have 457 plus 600 and 58. Okay. Again, two large numbers. Let's see how we get on with this one then. So the first things first, start with the hundreds. We've got 4 and 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. 4 plus 6 is 10. Don't forget we're adding the hundreds. So that becomes 1,000. Okay, be careful when you do those. Now we've got 5 plus 5. What is 5 plus 5 is? 10. Okay, but there's a 0 at the end because we're adding 10s. So that becomes 100. Do you notice how it becomes 100? 5 plus 5 is 10 and there's a 0 because we're adding 10s. And lastly, we're going to add the units. we got 7 plus 8. 7 plus 8 is 15. Let's put our equal sign and let's add them together. We've got 1,115. Now, do you notice this? 457 plus 658, with a bit of practice, or I should say maybe quite a lot of practice, you can do this in your head. Wouldn't that be amazing? Okay, we're going to do one final example, just to reinforce the knowledge that we've just gained. This time around we got even bigger numbers. 834 plus 479. Now to do this in your head, you're probably thinking it's impossible. Well, it's not. First of all, add 8, the 800, with the 4, the 400. 8 plus 4 is 12. So you should write down 12 with two zeros. You should have that in your head. That's 1,200. 
Okay. Next, we do the tens. Three plus seven. Three plus seven is ten. These are tens we're adding, okay? So three plus seven is ten with a zero at the end. So it's one hundred. And lastly, we've got the units. Nine plus four or four plus nine is thirteen. Let's just put the equal sign, change our color to yellow, and our answer is 1,313. Now I think, with quite a lot of practice, you can do something like this in your head. That is how we do addition of two three-digit numbers with carrying in the horizontal format, and hopefully, in after a period of time with a bit of practice, you'll be able to do these in your head.